on guys Aaron here back again curls on the rack and today we're going to do another product review today we are going to be talking about the hip thruster bench from Rogue Fitness uh, I just got it in I've been looking at it for a while and uh, I just passed it over to get other stuff but now it's time to get it and I'm happy that I did and I'll show you why in a minute but uh, first of all it came to the door big box showed up here one piece I didn't need to assemble it the pad was already attached to the bracket here and then it came with the two pop pins um, 215 was the price uh, I think I paid $30 shipping so overall 245 to get it here and it's a pretty nice piece of equipment um, the reason I got it is because my bench is not straight and so when I get up on there to do hip thrusters Number one, I have to put plates behind it, and or it'll move backwards. It'll sort of slide against the floor. Number two, it's not perfectly straight, so I am sort of it's sort of awkward. So I wanted something perfectly straight. Wanted something that was going to be sturdy attached to the rack, and so that's why I got this. All right, here's a bit of a close-up look at the product. As you can see, it has the rogue etched in in the bottom portion of it. It's got some bolts, lock washers, washers that attach this bracket into the pad. And then here is the pad. It's nice and thick. There's not a lot of play. There's a little bit more play in this one than say one of their utility benches, but um, maybe you want that when you're doing a hip thruster. I don't know. Then you got the pop pins and then the brackets that attach to the rack here. Now it didn't come with these white pieces of, of tape on here, but I noticed that it was a bit tight when putting it onto the rack. So I went ahead and attached those just so I wouldn't get scrapage on the inside of these or on the outside of my uprights. Uh, why don't I go ahead and show you guys how it attaches and then we'll get to some other stuff. Okay, so first of all, this thing is not the friendliest piece of equipment during the installation process. You have two options. One option is you can put it on And sit on a bench and then what I do is I just bring my bench lip right to the end here and actually if you have it lined up my bench sits at a height where I can actually set it right on top of the bench hold it pin one side in if I can find the hole There we go, halfway in, and then come to the other side. Pin that one in. It's very snug on the rack. I even tried to push the two uprights as close together as I could. And so there you go. Your other option is if you didn't have your bench there, would you just be sort of squat, put it on your knees, get a level and then put the pins in. Okay, so once it's on there, you'll notice that mine, it seems a bit high and it is a bit high, but that's only due to the fact that this upright right here is sort of a makeshift. This is not an upright that you're gonna have on your rack. These are uprights from the folding rack and they do not have as many holes in the side. So if you bought this, you would have another hole right here, you would be a little lower and that's perfect. I'll probably go ahead and add a couple more holes into this one just so I can get to the right uh, height that I wanna do the hip thrusters for. But in a pinch, it works okay. You just have a little bit more struggle getting up into position originally. Okay, so here's what I really wanna talk about. Uh, the fact that they advertise this product on hip thrusters. You can use it for hip thrusters. You can use it for dumbbell pullovers or you can also use it for decline push-ups. As you can see, there she is, she's performing the movements. Now, I've only had this thing for about two weeks, but I found that there's a ton of other exercises that this can be used for. And I'm sure you'd much rather see her do these exercises, but I'm gonna try my best, I'll try to sexy it up as much as possible for you guys. So, without further ado, roll the footage. Roll it. 
Jesus, what the hell do I pay you for? Another couple of exercises that work pretty well if you happen to have the lever arms, the trolley arms, uh, you can actually throw this guy onto those and you have a pad underneath. And so if you wanted to do like a weighted plank or a weighted push up, you can load plates on the side uh, and then you can get underneath this into position, do your movement and get out from under it. I used to do these at the gym with a training partner, he'd load the plate on my back then take it off or you can just throw it off when you're done. But now that we're all working out from home now, or at least I am, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. So it was just one added benefit to getting this that I, I could do these. And then you just go down, get out from under it. Another exercise you may want to consider if you also have the trolley arms is to use this thing as a pad for calf raises. You can put your plates on the side here, put this guy at the right level, put the spotter arms wherever you need them, get a little piece of, uh, of wood or something to prop your feet up on, and then you can do calf raises. And it doesn't, if you're using a bar, it kind of tends to dig into your legs where this is a pad and it works pretty well. Another added bonus or why I would prefer this bench over my regular bench for doing Bulgarian split squats is because I don't like to have my foot and my ankle bent up like this when I'm doing it. And in order to do that, I'd have to sort of be back here. But with this guy, it's a much better uh, angle for me. It feels a lot better when I'm going down because it's not as deep or I guess wide if you, were, if you were laying on it this way, as this one. So that one, that exercise feels a lot better when doing them on this one. Okay, opinion time and then I'll get out of here. I like this bench. I don't think it's overpriced. I think for 215, this bench is a good value for somebody who has a home gym. As long as you have a place to store it. I just put up some brackets over the wall. I'll show them here. I just hang it on there so it goes flush against the wall uh, when I'm not using it because it would be a pain to store it on the rack all the time. It would get in the way of your other movements. Um, hopefully I covered everything. I went through everything I could think of and probably in the future I'll catch one and be like, oh, why didn't I think of throwing this in the video? But please let me know in the comments section what you're using this for if you have one and uh, so I can get some more ideas and utilize it that way too. Uh, I'm sure there's a ton more. But anyways, guys, subscribe, 
like the video if you like the video. If you don't like the video, don't do that. But on the next video, and I'm sure you see it over my right shoulder on your left side of the screen, there's a contraption back here. I went ahead and made a folding slinger. So basically, it's a slinger when you want to use it with all the attachments that the slinger has. And when you're done, you can fold it against the wall. So I'm going to go through on the next video. So make sure you turn on your notifications, the ins and outs of how to make that for yourself. So uh, until next time, peace.